Okay, class, good morning. Good morning, grade 7 Matthew students. Good morning, everyone. And I hope you are all safe and you are all okay. And kabay pa nga, makontinue ga kita learning with uh, this COVID-19 pandemic. And we believe that learning never stops. That is why it is very special kay nagatuon ka mo, nga ara ka mo sa inyo respective ng mga balay. Okay. Before we start with our topic this morning, may I request everyone to please close your eyes for our solemn prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessings you gave unto us. Add joy to the world, subtract evil from our lives, multiply the good things for us, divide the gifts and share them to others, convert badness to goodness, and help us raise our needs to you. extract the roots of immoralities and perform our different functions in life. Tell us that life is as easy as math. Help us to solve our problems. This we ask in Jesus' name, the greatest mathematician who ever lived on earth. Amen. Okay, for the Bible verse of the week class, our Bible verse is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. states that study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Always take note, class, that in everything we do, we should always do it in the name of the Lord. Nothing is impossible in Jesus Christ. You don't be ashamed with, uh, when, you are going, when you are sharing the word of God, the word of truth to others, because you are special. You are great and you are called to deliver, to disseminate the word of God in order for others also to know what is the word of God. And please continue to pray for the healing of all those who are affected by the said coronavirus and always pray that matapos na ini siya kag makabalik na kita sa ato normal nga ginapanghimo kag makakita ay nakita diri sa school so for the objectives of our lesson this mor this morning first we have i can define sets subsets universal sets null set and cardinality of sets next is the i can illustrate sets subsets universal sets now set and cardinality of sets and for for the last is i can create word problems or worded problems related or involving sets subset universal sets now set and cardinality cardinality of set in a real life scenario because this is very applicable also in a real life situation okay what is set let us go and first define what is set so set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects from the word well-defined and collection. So from the word set, kinanglan may collection siya nga matabo. For example, set of chairs, set of students, set of uniforms, set of schools, set of malls. So those are examples of set. They are collection of distinct objects. So the objects in a set are called the elements or members of the set. For example, set of malls. Yes, in elements or members, for example, Ayala, SM, Gaisano, Unitap, or whatsoever. Pada siya, because uh, our set is the set of malls, akagang yung mga elements is yung moto ang mga Gaisano, SM, Unitap, Ayala. So, capital letters A, B, C, or any letter from our English alphabet usually denote sets. So, magname kita sang sets, ginagabutang gina siya natin sa capital letters. For example, may ara ikaw dara karon nga gusto mi pangalanan set of malls. So set A, so capital letter na siyang gamitin mo magname ikaw sang set. Next ang sa ato naman nga elements or members ginagamitan ta siya small letters nga any letters man sa aton English alphabet. So examples, the collection of the vowels in the word probability. So review naton what are vowels. So a e i o o or E A E I O U. So may ara kita sa word probability nga O A kag duha ka I. So may ara kita apat ka vowels. So for example, in name ta. Set A is equal to uh, O A I I. So the collection of real numbers that satisfy the equation. The collection of two digit positive integers divisible by 5. So ano ba lang mga two digit numbers that are divisible by 5? So, collection man siya sa great football players in the National Football League. So, kung may kilala ka mo dira, pwede mo na sila i-list as set. The collection of intelligent numbers of the United States Congress. So, those are only uh, specific example of sets in real life. 
So sa nambal ko na, you as grade 7 Matthew is another set of students. Example of that also. Next, we have in describing sets, may duha kita ka method. First is roster or list method. So each element is listed with possibly the inclusion of ellipses. So from the word list is binalista, gina siya isa-isa. Ang ellipses, amun na siyang damo, nga period sa punta, nga nag illustrate na siya nga may wala ending ang aton nga set. Example, set A. Kasi tungod capital letter A na siya sa so magbasa ta A. Kasi ganayin kita set, gayus kita capital letter A. So gayus kita brackets para mag-enclose ang aton nga elements or members. So A, B, C. Those are small letters because they are elements or members. That is listing method. So tanan ilista na siya ni mo. For example, uh, set of grade 7 students. Ilista mo gina siya tanan. Buta mo da si Asibo, Patano, Taladoa, uh, Bareto, si Hingilio, si Rufano, Bilaco. Kung si tanan ka mo da, pwede na siya ilista. Ka ilist method na siya. Next, a rule method na to. The set is described using properties common to the elements. So, ano ba lang common to the elements? Example na sa inyo. Uh, for example, si President Obama kag si President uh, Duterte. So, they are both president. Parehos man sila boys. Parehos man sila tigulang. No, amo na siya may mga common elements. Example na ton set B is equal to, magbasa kita, X such that X is a primary color. So, ano na ito na primary color? May ara kita? Red, yellow, blue. So, ang tatlo nga na, kung imuon ta sa listing method, set B is equal to red, yellow, blue. So, kung ato naman sa ato listing method, yung example, oh, ang set A is equal to ABC, pwede ta na siya i-translate into rule method. Set A is equal to X such that X are the letters of English alphabet. So, pwede na siya sa listing method, pwede na siya sa rule method. So, amun na siya duwa ka, a type na ito yung mag-describe sa sets. So, next is the empty set. From the word empty, buwat sila yung wala unod. So, the set with no elements or no members. Also called the null set. So, kisa or sometimes we call it as null set. So, ang symbol na sa ito yung empty set, is may ara kita nga uh, uh, ang empty set naton is ang um, uh, ano ganda siya tawag na siya? Circle na may ara siya kuret sa tunga kag ang aton man ang null set amo man na siya ho. So, kung aton na siya lang tawon, may ara nga si null set aton siya ginadenote na siya sa symbol nga may zero kag may kuret sa tunga. Kag sa example daw, oh, equal na si null set kag si empty set. Pero kung si null set, ara na siya sa sulod ni empty set, hindi na na siya equal kay null set. Kasi si empty set, maara na siya element or member na si null set. But si Lingon may one element na siya. Hindi na siya empty. So the first is a set of zero element. The second is a set of one element. So that one element being the empty set. So sa liwat, equal na si null set kag si empty set. Pero kung si, empty, si null set, isulod na siya naton kay empty set, hindi na na sila equal nga dua. Kasi si empty set, may ara na siya isa ka element, which is si null set. That is why null set is not equal kay, si, kay empty set once ara si null set sa sulod ni empty set. Ano magsinig ka universal set? From the word universal, ginakwaan sang tanan. So it is the set that contains all things, ara the tanan that have relevance to the group. Universal set is represented by a rectangle. Pwede man siya sa square. So, ara sa aton nga figure. May ara kita dira, set, a uh, universal set, U. Subsets within the universal set are depicted by circles or sometimes oval or other shapes. So, ang subsets, for example, ara o si A, subset, ino siya kay naka-circle. Pwede na siya also gamitan ta ovals or any other shapes. Ang kabilugan, universal set na siya. Ang portion nga circle or any other shape na da nga gusto nyo ibutang, amo na siya ginatawag nga subset. Wherein si subset, ginkuha lang kay universal set. Pero si universal set, ara ma, hindi tanan nga ara kay universal set, ara kay subset. Pero tanan nga ara kay subset, ara sa sa universal set. 
So, say universal set, a set U that includes all of the elements under consideration in a particular discussion. So, depende man na siya gapon sa context. Examples, the set of Latin letters. So, ano bala mga Latin letters? The set of natural numbers. So, what are those natural numbers? Universal set na sila. The set of points on a line. So, ang aton dira ng points sa line is infinite. That is why set na siya, universal set. Kaya tanan dira natin kwa on ang set of points sa line. So, ano magsiling kita yung subset sa ginambal kung nakagay na? For example, our phone when pieces from a set are taken. Ginkuha natin sa universal set. If all elements of set S are also elements of set T, then set then S is a subset of T. So, amun siya itagaan. Ta example, para mas mentiyan si S kag si T. Si S natin is equal, may ara siya nga element or members 2, 4, 6. Si T, may elements man kag may members nga 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, sa kay damo si T, siya na atong universal set. Si set S, nga 2, 4, 6, ginkuha kay set T. Therefore, si set S, subset lang siya yan ni set T. Si set T, universal set na atong, si set S ang subset. So, ang atong na siya nga specified by S, is a subset of T. Ang symbol ni subset is ang kapahigda nga yung may kurit sa dalong. Or by symbol, ara daw, 2, 4, 6 is a subset of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> Magsiling ka subset, ginkuha lang siya or parte lang gin siya sa universal set naton. Subset A is a subset of B if every element of A is an element of B. So, masambal ka lang ang subset ni A si B. Ah, uh, Subset ni B gali si A, kung ang tanan nga ara kay A, makita mo dito sa B, which is si B, ha? amun nang universal set na to. So sa notation, amun nang symbol. For each set A, A is a subset of A. For each set B, nangyara kita null set is a subset of B. A is a proper subset of B if A is a subset of B and A is not equal kay B. So kung ano lang na dira sa iya, kung subset lang yan ni B si A, kag in ay ko man parios na nakaron si A kag si B ang subset kag universal set parios gina karon that is why ang aton universal set mas dako or mas damo kumpara sa aton subset so cardinality of set si cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a set written as may ara kita nga magbasa sina is absolute value of A so may examples let R or set R is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 Then, cardinality of set R is equal to 5. Nga nag-5, isipon talang ang number of elements yun sa sulod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, 5. So, may ara kita cardinality of null set. 0. Kasi null set is 0. Gid na siya ya. So, let S man na to. May ara kita null set. May A, B. May A, B. So, pila ka bilog. Isipon talang. But take note, may null set. Si null set is zero. That is why hindi pa siya pagdalun isip. Only si A, B, A, B. So, may A, B, A, B. So, we have four cardinality of set. So, amun na lang siya magkwa sa cardinality of set. Isipon lang si members or si elements. So, for your activity class, on your textbook Spiral Math 10, directions, answer items 1 to 10 of exercises A and items 1 to 10 of reinforcement. So if you have any questions and if you can understand itong mga sakada si Gon, pwede nyo siya mabalik-balik at yung video. And you can message me directly kung may questions ka mo. So that's all.